Today, I chose to recommend something a little more different and unique than any other book that I've reviewed. It's not sci-fi or dystopian like The Giver or The Martian or like fantasy like The Girl, Dragon, and the Moon in Revenge of Magic. And it's not even non-fiction like The Diary of a Young Girl. This book is actually a mix of mystery, thriller, um, crime fiction, and conspiracy fiction. Today, I'm recommending The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I know the Da Vinci Code isn't considered suitable for young kids and tweens, but I actually found the entire plot just so fascinating and, and intriguing because I've never read anything like it. Nevertheless, though, I should say that unless you're a very mature or experienced reader or older than 12-ish, um, I should say that um, you should read at your own risk because there's a lot of violent scene and gunfights and controversial content. Well, let's get started. Dan Brown's 2003rd best-selling thriller Sessa Lecture in Paris by the Harvard professor and symbolist Robert Langdon. While he is there, though, Langdon is unexpectedly summoned to the world-famous Louvre Museum after a brutal murder occurs in the dead of the night. It seems that before the victim, an ancient curator named Jack Sarnier is, um, passes away, he manages to engrave a lot of clues in hidden codes around all around him to lead the investigation to the murderer. While following the leads left behind by the late Sonia, Landon is amazed to discover that the clues all point towards several works of art by Leonardo da Vinci. As Landon later joins forces with the French cryptologist Sophie Neville, they learn that Sonia was actually involved in a real top secret society called the Priory of Sign. An organization including several famous people, including Isaac Newton, Sandro Botticelli, Victor Hugo, and even Leonardo da Vinci. As Langdon and Neville delve further into the baffling mysteries, um, they find themselves in a blood-curdling race to uncover one of the Priory of Science's most closely guarded and darkest secrets. A perilous race against the cruel and merciless enemy, a guy by the name of the teacher. Dan Vance of Da Vinci Code is a definite must-read, and I constantly find myself wondering um, what would happen next. For me, I think that Da Vinci Code was a really exceptional filler that never bored me, and I cut and um, I just I've never read anything like it. The only downside of this book is that it focuses on a lot of controversial topics, especially to the Christians. There's also a movie remake of the first book, the second book, and the fourth book, starring Tom Hanks, and it's also really special. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and read the John Rockne series, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.